Okay, so let's go on um, with that logo here. So let me select some faces here, the faces from this side of that sphere, and let's delete that. Now we go in and select all of those objects and combine those. Mm, now we have to actually we could we could do is um, undo the combine and let's um, select those spheres and let's uh, scale them just a tiny bit yeah I like that so now um, select all of those objects and combine those and let's uh, select um, the border edges here so one shift select two three four and four edges here on that sphere and then we're using the uh, bridge tool so go to the options subdivisions of three and should work okay hit apply all right and we do the same here with this border edge this time we can double click on that edge and uh, shift double click on the corresponding edge um, border edge hit apply and finally this one here double click on this double click on the other one hit apply so now we take the object let me close that window here um, and let's uh, center the pivot and then let's bring the pivot uh, by holding down X to oops by holding down D and then X together and bring it to the center and then hit control D to duplicate that and scale that negative one and X and then take both objects combine those and select the words here in the center or a bunch of them and then say merge so with that done we have our logo let's uh, smooth that out okay so it's looking good so far but I want those edges here um, a little bit more down there so do this by selecting an edge here hit control right click edge ring utility split and let's do this uh, down here on this on that part again so hit G so we get two splits let's do the same here G select this edge G and so on okay so with that done let's check that out hit 3 to smooth yeah it's looking good yeah comes comes close to the low on the on the image in the background so okay we get the logo done um, let's uh, center the pivot let's move this guy up and let's uh, unhide uh, the layers that we just hide it bring it somewhere about here okay so we get the logo done and now let's start modeling this pointer that's um, on top of uh, so the the seconds pointer um, okay